what's up guys welcome to our flight today we are on the ground in raleigh durham where we flew out to yesterday or two days ago i think it was and we we're getting ready to head back to our home base of uh new haven we got about an hour and 45 minute block time only about 20 minutes of cruise uh so we'll have a brief cruise and then into landing we got 165 passengers today that we we're taking. We're going to be cruising at flight level 350. I'll probably be picking up some icing on the way down. It is 32 degrees Fahrenheit on the ground in New Haven currently. With clear skies for the most part and overcast 9500 uh, in New Haven. Uh, we're going to be taking just under 13,000 pounds of fuel, 8,200 pounds of cargo. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. should be a, a pretty simple, smooth flight. Jetstream's going to be carrying us there for the most part. That's why we'll have a slower than normal cruise, a shorter than normal cruise. Uh, what else do we have? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let's go ahead and navigate, show you guys where we are on the ground. We also got Riley Durham Tower and Approach online. Uh, so we'll be getting our IFR clearance here shortly. We're here at Gate Alpha 2. Um, pretty, I don't know, he may, give us a, he may give us five right. If so, I'll redo the numbers. Well, we'll get our clearance first and then we'll verify that. But if we get five right, which is, I think, only a 7,500 foot runway, we'll recalculate for that. Uh, otherwise, we're going to push, go to runway 5 left is going to be the plan from Terminal 1 and be on our way. So, uh, yeah, welcome in, guys. Again, right now we're sub only on the chat. Yeah, still getting back in the flow of Twitch, getting used to it. So, yeah, we're getting fueled up currently. Uh, we have uh, 23 minutes before departure time, and we'll be making our way to New Haven here from Raleigh-Durham. So we'll hop in the airplane, get our clearance, and start getting the airplane ready to go. And we will go from there. We got a company uh, aircraft on the ground here, November 802 X ray Tango. Yeah, weather here's not bad, looks pretty good. We also are using PX, PSXT for the ground traffic. Uh, and then once we get in the air, I'm going to switch on live traffic so we can pick up the traffic in the air that's going on real world. Uh, but other than that, we'll hop in and start getting some things going while the aircraft is getting fueled up. And you guys can see our route today. Ah, wrong thing. Pin that. This will going live as well today, I see. All right, let's get us going, and then we'll try to pick him up uh, here shortly. Let me get my clearance, though, right now while we're still getting fueled up. Yeah, it's still fueling up. How do we get an invalid entry there? Because of that. It's tight. Tower, Jeffrey, 1231, IFR, Let me there write forward. that in. Yeah, I'll write that in. Blue 1231, from Raleigh Tower. Okay. You're cleared to the Dolan Airport, Oxford 5 departure, Carmel transition, then as filed. 
Maintain 6000, expect flight level 230, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 124.95, clock 4644. Hi, Captain. We're ready to start boarding. Are we okay to begin? Yes. Start boarding whenever you like. Blue 1231 is cleared to the Dulles Airport. Ox 5 departure, Carmel transition, maintain 6000, expect 230 and 10. Departure frequency 124.95, squawk 4644. We are about to start boarding. Just Blue 1231, read that correct. Push and start, is at your discretion. Uh, you can expect from 5 left for departure and information in golf. That's great. I'll pick up golf, expect runway 5 left for departure. Blue 1231. Are they done going through? Looks like they're completed. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's put this in. That's why they haven't started. It says setting, but it's not. Alright, let's put that in. Put 13,000 even. There we go. There it goes. Now they're fueling up. All right. They ought to get the rest of it correct. Earth data cost index is going to be 27, if I'm not mistaken. 27. Have zero fuel weight of 35.7. I think it was 3.5. We have no alternate today either. Yeah, 3.5. We did take an extra thousand pounds of fuel though. So we have a little bit more. Uh, we have about 59 minutes worth of fuel once we arrive. Actually, an hour and 10 minutes, that's what we have. Cruise winds are two five two at one thirteen. We got a max wind tailwind component on this leg uh, on a flight of I think one hundred and thirty knots. We'll get on the tail, so we're gonna be blazing getting back to New Haven. All right, let's put that in. All right, let me. Let me recalculate for five right just in case he gives us that. Calculate. Alright, we can't do any any assumed flex. Let me update. Is it still plus nine? Yeah, that's fine. It was with 447. Okay, so we can take five right or five left. Uh, but let's call it up so we can get that information. Those guys are done. Okay, let's call, get our clearance. Let's call them up. Hello, Raleigh Durham Tower, uh, Velo 678. Uh, looking to get IFR clearance to New Haven. Velo 
98, King Raleigh to Tower, you are cleared to the New Haven Airport, Oxford side departure, Carmel transition then as filed, maintain 6 out of an expected flight level 350, 1 German descent to departure, departure frequency 124.95, clock 5640. Alright, cleared to New Haven via the Oxford 5, Carmel transition then as filed, climb maintain 6350, after. 2495 on the departure and 5640 Velo 678. Velo 678, we've got correct. Call me for push and start. Expect runway 5 right for departure. Information golf is current. All right, 5 right is what we expected. All right, we'll call you for push and start and expect 5 right. Uh, and we have information golf for Velo 678. All right, we got the numbers for 5 right already as well, so we're golden. All right, we have 14 minutes until push. All right, let me make sure we have what you call it off. Let me also check something. There we go. Make sure I don't. Okay, I just want to make sure that wasn't on because it's nine degrees Celsius. We don't need the uh, air conditioned cart. All right, let's start boarding these folks. We got all 165 people were at the gate. Actually, let's get the APU one first. Let's do that. Let me see what is our takeoff fuel. All right, we're doing five right. We got plenty of fuel. We got plenty of fuel. We're going to start the APU now. Cockpit to ground. Start an APU. All right, let's get AP, the APU up and running. Then we'll get the folks on board here. Just get some belt signs on now. All right, so no, assume flex takeoff with full power. 142, 42, 48. Flaps five. G. Go ahead. Roger. Winds, no winds, and dry. Oh, let's get the uh, runway. Ah, uh, let's go. Let's go back to route. Do runway zero five right. Power Golden. Get 
get the aircraft warmed up here. Cockpit's ground. Please disconnect GPU. Roger. Tower JetBlue 1231, info golf for the taxi. Alright. JetBlue 1231, number 5 left taxi via Foxtrot Bravo 1. 5 left Foxtrot Bravo 1, JetBlue 1231. Alright, we'll get the aircraft loaded now. Boarding. Yeah, we got a departure time of 20.05. is going in over there. I see it. Let's go to descent winds. Forecast. Just, again, we got a short cruise time, so we'll get everything in here while we can to execute. Let's go to departure. We already got runway 5 right that we're taking. Oxford 5, caramel, or caramel. And we're going to do Arrival. We're going to do the RNAV 2-0. The, uh, we said, what? Sorry. Let me see if that gives us that. EDR. JFK. Source that should get sorry in that ring. Yep, there it goes. We'll go with that for now. Execute, climb, we're gonna do max rate of climb again. No select thrust power, no flex take off soon. Flex takeoffs. We're not doing that with full power. We've been doing runway five right. So we're going to have a shorter taxi now than planned. We have 25 folks boarding now. Still looking for the rest. We got seven minutes until departure. We should be able to get these folks on and out of here. Let's get this right since we have approach online as well. Six thousand set. checks out. JetBlue 1231 ready for departure. JetBlue 1231 on departure, fly heading 035, wind calm, runway 5 left, clear for takeoff. And left heading 035, 5 left, clear for takeoff, JetBlue 1231. Those guys going again. We're getting folks boarded here. We got them loading from front to rear. 
the uh, self loading. They're loading in just fine. I may switch that and go rear to front. We don't have a first class anyway. It's all single class. All right, we already have 5640, which is Just blue 1231, contact, contact from the uh, Autobot. Departure 1231. Before um, the tower came online, we already have our approach frequency inputted. Ready to go, like so. We're just waiting for the uh, folks to finish boarding. Let's turn the AP off on that. All right, and again, as I said, we have. Uh, We're on the ground here at Alpha 2, so we'll have a uh, short taxi. Yeah, it'll be a short taxi to five right. And then we have 7,500 foot of runway here. We did the numbers to make sure we can take off on that runway. Uh, otherwise, we would have taxied for five left, uh, which we likely would have been given Alpha to Echo crossing the bridge over to five left, but we're, we're getting a runway right next to our terminal, so that works out. We'll be doing the Oxford 5 RNAV departure. So we'll get. Basically, get back to that. He'll give us a turn out to that. Please place your large bags into the overhead locker wheels first and keep your small. It's an all aircraft information hotel, now current wind 070 or ultimate 3008. Say Lima. Let's see if it updated here. To help us ensure a prompt departure, we would kindly ask that you keep the aisle clear, enabling all remaining customers to board. Your seatbelt can now be fastened ready for departure. This is a no smoking service. Thank you for observing this policy. Hotel, you said, okay. Info hotel. All right, four minutes to go. Just about have everyone on board here. All right, we got one drink service. Not technically a food service because the Velo only serves cookies. We don't have galley carts here, so they'll get water and cookies. That is it. We have no onboard Wi Fi, no onboard in flight entertainment, so they must entertain themselves. Uh, that may be why we don't get a good scores here because we don't offer as much being a low cost carrier, so. It is what it is. All right, we got all 165 on. Everyone's getting in their seats. Since they are in the aircraft, we should get called up here for, uh, let's see. All right, they're still loading outside. Let's at least give the announcement so we can get going. We'll let the, we'll let the uh, FO give the announcement here. Thank you very much for flying with us, and I hope you enjoy the flight. 
Alright, see bell signs already on. Alright, we just got our load sheet. Needed. Looks good. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh we crap, we close this. Roger that. Go ahead. Hi, Captain. Okay, here's the load sheet from Brown. I've written the passenger count here, the crew count here, and a total number of souls, not including yourself, here. Thank you much. Okay, looks like we're all set to go whenever you're ready. I'll remove the jetway. No problem. All right, let's get ready to go. Get right on time. Oh, hold on one second, guys. My dog got locked in here. One second. Uh, Vela 678, all I heard was static. Check to make sure your mic is unmuted. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, we were muted. Uh, Velo 678, we are ready for push and start with Information Hotel. Uh, Velo 678, thank you for hotel. Push on to Alpha approved tail northeast. All right, push on to Alpha approved tail northeast, Velo 678. Let's get pushed. Move chalks as well. Let's get collision light on so we can get up out of here. Alright, hydraulic systems on, your damper going on. Lights out. Cockpit to ground. Oh, they actually. Go ahead. Oh, you gotta close the door. My bad. Disregard. Sorry. Roger. Forget about that. Let's close. He said, "Push on to Alpha." Let's see. I don't know that I actually have it set to push to Alpha, but what we're pushing will be fine. We'll just roll up to Alpha from there. All right, all right my door's closed. Right, how do I not have that set? Let me do this real quick. Is that push on the alpha? Actually, I think we'll end up just pushing right in here. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just push to there. I actually know I already have it set up, so I have to do it. Ah, it'll do.
Cabin crew, arm the doors, please. Go ahead, ground. Ground two. Ground to cockpit. Go ahead. Tow is connected. Release parking brakes when ready to push out. Roger. All right. Tow is attached. Please do. Stand by while we start push out. Yeah, I think I had it set to push back into this alley, but we'll take it as is. All right, he's pushing us out. Okay, Captain, we cleared the stand, and you're free to start entry. Roger that. Starting number two. Sitting up correct. Let me get this. All right, there we go. Oh, because there's not a connection there, that's why. Let's get you back. Yeah. Low oil pressure lights out. Start of valve light is out as well. We go continuous. Head generator should be good, and it is. Seven one. All right, good start on number two. Parking brake set. Roger. Stand by. Please keep your parking brake on while we monitor engine. Start up and disconnect the hose. Roger. Start at number one. Roger. Roger that. All right, engine vibrations are good. All temps rising. All pressure is good. Quantity is good. We have a pin off to the right there from him. My right, parking brake is set. Later, dude. Go RTO. My right, 3000 on the hydraulic systems. Let's go. Why is my yoke always down? Right, left, forward, aft, rudder right, left. Brakes check. Good, that brakes are good. And brake pressure is good. That on. APU off. And 
and get packs back on. And our boats, our DC boats on uh, TR1, 2, and 3 are good. Auxiliary battery got 28 volts there, 24 on the main battery. Standby power, 28 volts there. Good. We'll get ice in because of the pedo heat not on yet. We'll get that on the whole short. Alright, all else looks good. Let's get taxi time on. Raleigh doing tower, uh, Velo 678, uh, ready to taxi, runway 05 right. Velo 678, runway 5 right, taxi via Alpha Alpha 1. 5 right via Alpha Alpha 1, Velo 678. Alright, and again, guys, we don't have very long of a taxi here. So, let's get move on. Alright, my brakes. Already get the cabin secured. It is. Cabin crew seats for takeoff, please. Right. Throttle. Velo 678 on departure flight heading 035, wind 0704, right side, right, clear for takeoff. And copy the winds uh, on departure, we'll turn right to 035, clear for takeoff and wave 05, right of Velo 678. We'll stop this clock at 3 minutes. Taxi time. Start the in route timer. Uh, Alright, crew is seated. Alright, five right identified at Alpha 1. Runway is clear, departure ends clear. Approach end looks clear as well. right identified on the pavement. And we probably want to set flaps. Forgot about that. Flap set. My mistake. 492. My mistake.
My brake's good, Tim's good. Get that off. Alright, we're flaps five set. Yeah, it's set. Not in transition. Alright. We're stable. V's, P's, T's, all good. Let's go Toga. Airspeed's alive. 80 knots. And thrust hold. And over to departure, thanks for your help, Avello 678. Departure of Velo 678, uh, passing 3,000, climbing 6,000, heading 350. Velo 678, Raleigh departure, good afternoon. Welcome aboard your radar contact. Turn left, heading 020, one able to clear direct PV on course, climb maintain 12,000. And was that heading of 300, Velo 678? 020, one able to clear direct PV. 020 and then direct PV. Velo 678. Let's go flaps one. And just for clarification, departure, uh, did we get higher as well on that uh, Velo 678? Velo 678 affirmative. The instruction was radar contact, fly heading 020, when able to clear direct PV, climb maintain 12000. Roger that, we'll climb maintain 12000 of Velo 678. Lapse up. Set. Now let's go direct PV. Flaps up, direct PV, we'll go L nav armed. Watch our speed there. A bit too fast, they're below 10. Let's get that back in line. Velo 6 and 8, Washington Center is offline. Radar services terminated. Frick change advisor approved. Good day, sit right. And over to Unicom. Thanks for your help, Velo 678. Cheers. Let's go. Command A. Alright, flaps up. No lights. Off. Auto brakes off. Set to, uh, 35. 35 set. Past 10,000, we'll go lights out. Primary lights out. Uh, let's see. Uh, go off on auto ignition. Put our folks in the back know that's 10,000. Go to your quartz. 
Good to see you, man. Off and on, getting ready to go handle some, something over at the house. Okay, got you. Welcome in, man. Good to see you. Hope all is well. All right, we'll go to Humacom now. Cabin crew free to resume duties. All right, we'll set the wheels off, get the lights off as well. We are pressurized, cabin climb pressure. So good, under 14.5. Right, we got climb, uh, should take us 17 minutes, I think we have, 17 minutes up to climb. We only have 20 minutes. Cruise uh, Boston Center's on. I believe we cross into Boston Center. We'll see. Let me get them set 34 7. Seven set. On eighteen thousand minus two. And that was my mistake. I meant to say uh, when I contacted him that we were on heading of zero three zero or zero three five and I said three five zero. That was my mistake. There's eighteen thousand for standard. Standard on standby. Put the secondary lights out. Those are already out. I'm going to stop my recording up there. I've right, got an arrival time of 2148. We got 21.25 so far. It's going to be golden. We're about 20 minutes early as of right now. We're planning for runway uh, 20 on RNAV. Approach 20. I'm going to start getting all of these things going here right now before that takes place. Before we get there, because like I said, we only have 20 minutes in cruise. We're getting this stuff ready to go already. We'll go ahead and give the uh, climb the cruise announcement as well. Good afternoon once again from the cockpit. I hope all is well with you and you're enjoying flying with us so far. We're currently climbing up to our cruising altitude of 35,000 feet, so I thought I'd give you a quick update. 
We're expecting to arrive on time as planned. Progress is going very well. You'll next hear from me just before we start our descent. I'll be sure to keep you updated if anything changes, but in the meantime, please feel free to relax and take advantage of our onboard facility. Thanks very much. I was at 1953, so just over 30 minutes ago. Again, overcast 9,000, minus 1, minus 12, temp 2.3020 on the altimeter. We get up there, get that set up. And get that dial the end to 20. Twenty, I think, is our uh, minimums. On our GPS, no, it's five twenty. No, nope, it's four thirty. Ten, we're passing flight level two nine zero. Looks good so far. We do have to climb out and check. All right, engine instruments are all stable, even across. Operations are normal. Hydraulic systems are still good. A and B. No hot brakes. No flat tires. Still have brake pressure. We'll check that again before we land. Flight controls are all normal. Man, lucky I'm not flying into Houston today. Houston weather's terrible right now. I passed the flight level 300. We have uh, 5,000 to go.
Just under a thousand to go. On the gate one. It's just one. It not valid. All right, I took G one. Somebody took a lowercase G one uh, for that. All right, we're good there. All right, 20 minutes to get the cruise. We got 20, 59. All right, yeah, we'll let them know at the 15 minute mark. Doing service right now. We'll let the crew know at 15. They ought to be done drinks at that point. United Delta 243 contact Boston approach 133.0. American 2236, maintain 263 and up. Maintain 263 and up, maintain 263. And Delta 7650, Delta 760, Boston Center, hello. Delta 760, Center, maintain, follow up with 230. Delta 22,000, Delta 760. American H01 to send via the Roebuck 3 arrival, runway 22 left, the Boston Altimeter 3017. 17 Roebuck 3, Dang, she hung up, left, she said that fast, Manga. That ought to help them speed up a little bit. Hey, good afternoon, Precision 135, 13,000, 317. Roebuck 135, Boston Center, hello, climb and maintain, level 270 for 135. Jeff Blue, 783, Monitor Nikon, good day. And Sterling, good day. Monitor Nikon, 12.8 as well. Parts 2.8, Sterling, good United 253, contact Boston approach 133.0. Delta 415, contact Boston approach 133.0. Approach 133, Delta 415. Got three and a half on the glide slope. Glide path, my mistake. Never more than five, three alpha bombs in our uh, parking taxi parking unit. American 2236, reduce speed to 250 knots. Contact bombs in the first 133.0. We'll switch them off for now. So I actually picked up the New Haven scenery from Orbix only to find that they've stuck static airplanes at all the gates except one which sucks because you can't remove them so i probably won't be buying orbit scenery anymore unless i fully verify and or see video of their scenery not having static airplanes at the gates uh and it's wild that they would do that it's quite a few that i've seen that done that and you can't get rid of the static airplanes so uh, it's weird in Microsoft that they didn't they didn't build it that way to be able to do so. It's terrible. So I can't remove those airplanes, so I just uninstalled it. 
was only fortunately it was only ten dollars but still that's ten dollars I could have spent on something else but unfortunately and honestly the freeware version looks as good as the Orbix version the runway looks better on a freeware version than it does the Orbix version. The Orbix version is just flat. Uh, which looks or tells me they probably just ported it right over from P3D without bothering to really do anything. The same with probably why the uh, statics are there. Because uh, obviously in P3D, we are able to just remove it via the config tool that comes with the program or with the scenery but for some reason uh, they don't have that at least Orbix doesn't I know there's a couple other developers that do but Orbix unfortunately does not have it set that way So, yeah, there's that. So, yeah, unfortunately, I had to uninstall it because it just, it wasn't worth using. It's just going to put static airplanes at the terminal that I don't want there. We don't have an arrival going into uh, New Haven here today, so let me see some things here. Picking up a little bit of uh, turbulence. There's that 143.
should be fine. So we should be we should be ahead of schedule. Yeah, 2126, still about 20 minutes, 22 minutes ahead. Jeez, there's a lot of traffic around uh, DCA. Let the uh, let the cabin know now. That's ten minute mark. We'll let them know now. Good afternoon once again from the cockpit. I hope you're enjoying the flight so far. We'll be starting our descent in approximately ten minutes. The arrival weather forecast is looking good, so it should be a nice, easy approach into the airport. We're not expecting any delays, so we should be able to land fairly quickly. Once we do begin our descent, please listen to the cabin crew carefully and pay attention to any instructions they provide. Please also monitor the seatbelt sign during our approach. Thanks for flying with us, and I'll speak to you again soon. Actually, we're going to be, because we need to, yeah, we're supposed to be there at 2148. Yeah, that's true. Our departure time was 2005. So we should arrive at 21, right now 2126. We have time to take our time to get down. So we're still pretty, uh, still early. Scott Dolly. We should be landing in 23 minutes. There's 
the top of the sink there. I'm gonna do the full source just in actually no we're not. Because I don't believe we're gonna end up in Boston. Every time I've flown here, Boston I always says this is New York's airspace, so yeah, we'll just go. We'll go. Sorry. Let's bring that up. Let's get to the top of the center. Let's get even eight thousand there. BDR. Something to aim for. What does it say? Traffic? There's no traffic. Max brakes. Shouldn't need max brakes, but we're gonna go max brakes. We'll set ten thousand for now. Ten thousand set. Traffic happening. Descend. Descend. Have that traffic. That's 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 in traffic. Clear of conflict. Let's see, we got three minutes. Twenty nine up to twenty nine up forty. This RBSR. Uh, let's see. Oh, I guess that's fine. I'll leave it at that. Right, top percent is actually now. Watch it here, make sure it doesn't dive on us here. Uh, 
All right, it looks normal. Five minutes. That's as good as that. I don't think it does. Good afternoon. Make it hit on that, but as you may have noticed, yeah, it doesn't give us that. We we'll go thirty minutes. We should be arriving in around thirty minutes, depending on local air traffic. That will be we'll less, be instructing the cabin crew to get the cabin ready for our arrival. After that, the seatbelt sign will be illuminated, and you'll need to stay seated until after landing. On that note, if you need to use a toilet, you should try to visit one now, as they will be closed during the approach. For now, though, I will wish you a very good afternoon once again, and I'll see you in a short while once we've landed. But it still has this this road to go. Why are they still taking forever to do to do that? Gotta hurry it up. Been done. Oh well. Their problem. Yeah, so from what I've seen, we typically uh, talk to New York Center for New Haven. We gotta pass over JFK. All right, we'll pass JFK between 17. So we'll pass over the class Bravo over the top, then down the BDR. I just want to make sure we didn't go crossing through their airspace here. All right, then between negative 10 and plus 10 Celsius, we'll start getting anti-ice on on the engines.
eight, yep. Yeah. Jeez, a lot of traffic on this East Coast. Traffic United 2052 is on the uh, Lindsay 8 arrival, going to join the Arnav X ray to two left. right over the top of JFK doesn't look like we're going to see her but we're going to be crossing over the top there's some traffic out there there's a lot of traffic out here right now right now PSXT is picking up 60 airplanes around me That's negative eight. Let's get our word. Turn that ties on. Wow, this looks so nice.
Cabin crew, please prepare the cabin for arrival. Our temps on the ground is going to be negative. The body of traffic is fire 72, departing runway 31, IFR North. The body of traffic, United 2052, uh, ILS, or RNAV, use X ray, 22 left. Jeez, I got that turned down too. Still out. Okay, now I got Boston Center. 34 7 entry. Fair Island, 408, they requested altitude. I was on the ground and you said, zero. nope, not my area. Fair Island, 408, maintain for level 370, and will I have you squawk 3332? Three, three, okay, I will maintain 370 and 3332 on the squawk, Fair Island, 408. Boston Center, Kathleen, Sky was 455, uh, Boston coming 1,400, 3,000. United 624, are you on Boston Center? Uh, Berman is. Okay, I'll get right back to you. Delta 760, Clyde ILS, runway 22 left approach and contact tower 128.8. Clyde ILS, 22 left approach, and we'll go to the tower. Delta 760, hang on. Good one. Remember 135, turn left heading 250, and a shuttle localizer. Left 250 to set the localizer, 135. United 624, climb and maintain the flight level 230. Okay, up to 230 now for 623. Thank you, Skywest 455, radar contact, climb and maintain 14,000. Roger, climb and maintain 14,000, Skywest 455. Number 7, Charlie Bravo, radar service terminated, squawk VFR, frequency change approved, have a good day. Number 135, one, two miles from Wayne. Descend and maintain 3,000 until established on the localizer. Could I allow from Wake 22 left approach? Descend and maintain 3,000 until established cleared ILS 22 left approach for 135. Number 4245, Sierra Romeo, you be ready for a release in the next five minutes? We're ready to go right now. Runway 32. Perfect outlet for you shortly. Air Canada 1651 cross. Add the dot at and maintain one one thousand Burlington altimeter three zero one two. Three zero one two and the add dot uh, one one thousand uh, Canada six fifty one thanks. That is six twenty four. Climb and maintain for light level three eight zero. Three eight zero six twenty four. JetBlue five zero five. Expect ILS runway T two left approach. Verify information kilo. Information kilo one four two two left. Thank you, Air Force One, climb and maintain bubble Air 380. Air Force One, I'm going to just send them a text. Air Force One, climb and maintain bubble 380. 380, Air Force One. Boston, awesome. United 318 on the ground in Burlington, IFR Newark, please. Says the triple seven Charlie Bravo. I have runway inside. I'd like to uh, start our descent here. Seven seven Charlie Bravo. Radar service terminated. Squawk VFR frequency change. Ah, you know what he said. The three eighteen officer center on request. Do it, so. November two four five Sierra Romeo oh, cleared oh, to oh, Westfield that. Airport as filed. Maintain six thousand. Squawk eight four six one two four six one two. Two four five zero Romeo clear to Westfield. Set file six thousand squawk four six one two. November five Sierra Romeo back correct release for departure clearance void if not 
airborne within three minutes. If not airborne within three minutes, revise your intentions no later than one zero minutes. Report airborne with me. Release departure clearance board three minutes, two four five zero Romeo. Southwest 2525, descend via Robot 3 arrival, runway 22 left, altimeter 3018. Sunday of the Vogel, Robot 3 arrival, runway 22 left, no, and 30.18 on the altimeter. Southwest 2525. Skywest 455, climb and maintain for level 220. Skywest 455, climb and maintain for level 220. Roger, crime maintain for level 220, I'm going to read a number of instructions here. No need to respond to any of them. Okay. I can't hear please here. Actually, just stand back for one more. Roger. Hello, approach. Uh, Velo 678, uh, just passing over the Bravo Delta Romeo VOR. Uh, out of 8,000 for New Haven. As well as in here to pressure, stand by. Apollo 678 near approach, uh, New Haven's landing runway 20, expect the RNAP runway 20, fly heading 020, descend and maintain 4000. All right, we're planning for RNAV 20, uh, left turn to 020 down to 4000, fellow 678. Thanks, and uh, uh, you said you were ready for taxi? Uh, affirmative. All right, now at 3 sir, runway 24, taxi via Whiskey, Sierra, Bravo 4, cross runway 24 at Whiskey. 4000 set, 020 set. Taxi to runway 24 via Whiskey, Bravo, Bravo 4, cross runway 33 okay, left, hold short on runway 33 right, King Air 43 Sierra X-ray. Captain crew, please take six yeah, King Air 3 Sierra X-ray, if it just makes it easier, runway 24, taxi via Whiskey, backtrack runway 24, exit left Bravo, hold short runway 33 left at Bravo 2. Taxi runway 24 via Whiskey Bravo 3, backtrack runway 33 left, then hold short on runway 33 right, King Air 43 CR X ray. Uh, King Air 43 CR X ray, still not quite. Uh, just taxi via Whiskey, right, make the left clouds. onto runway 24 and hold short on Bravo for now. I'll give you further in a moment. Correction. Taxi one two four via whiskey, then left from way two four. This is what I was saying to Desmond uh, the King other day. See, we're yeah, magnetic right. heading Thank zero you. two zero as he told me, but we're tracking zero two nine. Track is not what we care about. The magnetic heading is what they gave us because they know for the wind correction where it should carry us. Let's get down. What the heck? We don't correct for track. Apollo 678, clear direct. Sorry, cross sorry at or above 3,000. Cleared RNAV runway 20 approach. All right, direct sorry at or above 3,000. Clear for the RNAV 20 approach. Uh, Velo 678. Get back on track. Probably should have did this first. Do that. Shortcut, and you took the long line. Yeah, I can't afford too far. It, it's unfamiliar with the airport re request uh, tax instructions. 
Alright, King of Three Sierra X, it's not a problem. Right turn next taxiway, that's gonna be Bravo and uh, left on Bravo too. I'll give you anywhere near fast. Make the right here. To be on this. Well, you're making right turn on to Bravo one, and then Our final approach we'll course glide over pad there. on standby. Just go past uh, King of Three Sierra X. Just go past this one. It's the next left. King at 3 Sierra X-ray again, it's the next left yeah, track, runway 3 3 left at Bravo 2, continue taxi via Delta all the way down there. Make a left to runway, uh, Bravo 2, crossing runway 1-5, right, then proceed on taxiway Delta, King at 4 3 Sierra X-ray. Alright, our crew is seated. Crap, forgot to add speed brakes on. Approach King Air 4 3 X-ray at runway 2 4 uh, ready for departure. King Air 3 Sierra X-ray, wind 2 5 0 4, runway 2 4, clear for takeoff. I got the final approach course. Clear for takeoff, runway 2 Active. 4, King Air 4 3 Sierra X-ray. Canabola 678, the uh, New Haven, wind 2 2 0 at 5, runway 2 0, clear to land. Copy the winds, clear to land, runway 2 0, uh, Velo 678. Laps five. <laughs> Trucks are rolling. Got to set two miles. Uh, King of four three and four three, we suffered uh, catastrophe here. What kind of fire did you Fifteen. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the least of your worries. Flaps 40 set in green. Auto throttle off. And we'll go to state. My controls. Five hundred. It's off 
far right. Approaching minimums. Floor hundred. Minimums. Three hundred. Two hundred. Landed. Welcome to New Haven Left Turn Juliet. You can talk to that park and be at Bravo Charlie. All right, we'll left turn at Juliet, then Bravo Charlie to the gate of Velo 678. That was a little harder landing than I would like. Twenty-six. We are early. Dang get that that landing was a little heavier than I would liked it to be. Cabin crew, please disarm doors. But we're back. We got enough flights in the New Haven this schedule. But there's no way we shouldn't. We won't have this perfected. We will. My lights out at top. Guys, welcome back to New Haven. Now, our next flight is going to be a uh, flag operations flight. We'll be going to uh, 
Puerto Rico. Clear left and right. Flight's about four hours or four and a half hours, I think it is. Now there's three minute cool down. Why is that airplane right there? I don't think we'll be able to park next to him. I don't think. Yeah, we'll be able to get there. And approach to Resident Evil 1, uh, entering your airspace from the north at 2200, looking for a uh, full stop at Islip. Is one of these guys in training, perhaps? At TVM 331, Roger. They may be in training. TVM 331, Long Island, Altimeter, 301. I think the guy in the front's in training. He's not, uh, he's not a GSX guy. All right, engines shut down. All right, lights are off. Collision off. Packs off. AP going off. Jetway connected. Go ahead, ground. I can't make it to the please. And there's a six minute mark. Loud and clear. Roger. Okay, Captain. Ground power is still. Stand by. We we'll start getting you offloaded in a couple of minutes. They're not talking. All right, we have shut down here and brake temps are good. Yes, ground power, please. That's a new thing that GSX has added or FS Dream Team has added that when the jetway connects, it asks if you want to connect your ground power and boom, we got ground power. So I don't have to go to the menu and pull it up. Do that, that's off, off. Build signs off now and Roger that. Cabin crew, the aircraft is secure and the jet. Alright, so we finally made it back here to uh, New Haven. Let's close that flight out there. There. Let's get these people off of here. Where's the board? We didn't even get to talk to uh, Boston Center because they were just, they were getting inundated with calls coming in. 
by the time I was going to try to jump in, I got a call from the uh, approach controller. So there's that. All right, door is going to be opening here. Ah, that landing rate wasn't bad. It wasn't what I wanted, but uh, for even for here, but it was still still good, good enough. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to wish you a safe onward journey and hope you enjoyed your flight today. Thanks for flying with us, and we hope to see you again soon. Yo, what's up, FNL? Uh, so far, it's been good. It's been good. No issues so far. And for me, it, it either of the two are fine. Um, either of the two are fine by me. Long as it works, that's all I care about. All right, so we get those folks out of here. Let's open the flight deck door. All right, so one hour, seven minutes total time. Let's see, fuel burned. Three two seven, soft by what? Two hundred pounds. If that. So yeah, uh, we're getting these folks deboarded now. We'll see what we scored on that but um, yeah actually that flight went well can't complain much other than about that landing could have been a little softer I'm working on it though that is incorrect FNL YouTube does not stream in 4k it streams in 1440 that's the highest they'll let you go now you can upload in 4k but you can't stream in 4k uh, but I have it the, the point the point of these past few streams back on Twitch was to see if I can get it to stream in 1440, and it is. So if you look at it, I don't know what you're watching the stream on, but if you look at the resolutions, you have 1440, 720, 480, so you don't have 1080. This is the only one that's missing because of the 1440. But yes, uh, it does as it should, I'd say. Uh, let me go to this view. But uh, Velo's all parked here. Let me make sure my tail number's not sitting out here. We got 802. I, I think we got two 802s. Yeah. It's the first time I've seen two uh, Velo jets on the ground here. It's typically maybe one, if that. Now, it's been on here a while. Um, and the reason I know that is because SCX, I think it's SCX Pilot, uh, he hasn't streamed in a while. But when whichever update happened a while back on Twitch, he was streaming in 1440 like a year ago. And I asked him how did he do it, and he said he, did, he wasn't sure. It just, it just did it on its own, I guess. Uh, so it's been here. It was just a matter of making sure you have the uh, the power or the upload speed to be able to to do it. All right, that's that. Yeah, so our next flight is going to be TJSJ. We'll be planning for that. Uh, today's Monday. It'll probably be this weekend or something. I'll, it's going to be an early morning stream uh, as well. But let's see here what we got uh, once all these folks deboard. But overall, it was a pretty good flight. Um, had a few hiccups after departure. I think uh, the only other thing was our... We didn't have our flap set before taxi. I uh, didn't realize it until I was lined up on the runway and double-checked and we didn't have flap set. So at least we got flap set before we started trying to take off. So that worked out. Uh, and then again, after departure, like I said, I didn't hear the entire instruction. I heard direction. Actually, I got the tower.
correct. I just didn't get the uh, approach when I switched over to him to get his correct. Most others include myself. I only saw 1080. True. Yep, that is true. All right, so, oh, let me get a screenshot of this. Let me get this crap out the way so I can get a screenshot of this. This will probably be our thumbnail. All right, get this back. But yeah, so far, PSXT ran very well, I will say. Ran very nice. Uh, when we got over JFK area, it was, it was working overtime. It was definitely working overtime. All right, we got 47 passengers remaining the D board here. Uh, the approach, everything was good. Like I said, just got a little bit too, I think, because this runway short. Looking down at the end of the runway doesn't seem that far ahead, and I think that's why I kept uh, bobbing there on the flare. Like I said, we got, let me see, what do we have? We got another, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four more flights back into New Haven. So I I definitely ought to have my landings a little bit more perfected the next time. Uh, right, right, yeah, I remember you saying that. I remember you saying that. Like I said, the main thing is going to be, now from what I've read too, Twitch can still limit you depending on your system. Or uh, depending on your streams or something. Depending on your, your, what is it? I can't think of the name of it. I guess depending on your stream's performance of how much you stream or whatever it is. Something like that because when I first streamed in 1440, the other resolutions wasn't there but the second time i streamed it brought the other resolutions up i think it's again depends on how many viewers you're getting and uh, i think it's a couple other factors to it on whether or not it'll give you all the resolutions to choose from or just the one that you're streaming in if you if it only gives you the one you're streaming in obviously not everyone's going to be able to, to view the stream um but so far i haven't had any issues uh, it hasn't bogged down at all to cause it to have any problems uh, on Twitch yet. Uh, so, yeah, so far it's, it's it's doing its job. But, of course, I'll probably still do some, uh, some things on YouTube as well, still. All right, ground's done. Hey, we got a B minus. We'll take that. The last three or four flights we got C's, so that's an improvement. But we got 309 on that landing rate. We'll take it. It is what it is. Let's see, I have plenty of room. A runway left. Uh, let's see what we got on Sim 2 Kit Pro. Where do we sit it down? I think we sat it down past the. Uh, open up. Past the 1,000 footers, I feel like. Oh, there's the lights. Let's see what did it give us. Jeez. Oh, hold on. We landed south. I was about to say, I know I didn't land that far past. Yeah, that was the 1,000 footers. We landed almost 1,700 feet into the runway. Yeah, I was, I've, again, I'm going to perfect New Haven. I just, again, have to remember we're landed on 5,600 feet. Pretty much 4,600 feet. I got to sit it down on these 1,000 footers. I mean, we still had, we still had rollout time, but it was still, uh, I, for perfection purposes, I got to sit it down where it's supposed to sit down at. All right, we'll take that out of here. Outro. All right, two hours of stream time. Not bad. Yeah, our next flight to T TJSJ is going to be a four and a half hour flight, so that's not going to happen uh, anytime soon. It'll have to be a very early morning flight. Uh, probably be like a 5 a.m. flight or 6 a.m. flight. I'll be done by 10. 
with that, let me get another screenshot here. Let's swing this around. There we go. Yeah, absolutely, FNL. All right, I'm going to get out of here, and we're going to call it on that one. And appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out. And I will see you guys on the next one. to my guy here this guy's a cool guy he's a funny dude too and he's an IRL pilot I don't know what company he flies for but he is a real real pilot so yeah I appreciate you guys I'll see you guys on the next one oh man negative 13 Fahrenheit jeez Louise